All you DJI Mavic Pro fans got a completely disassembled battery for you today. It's kind of a recap on the battery balance I did a while back. I'll leave a description somewhere about it. I'm William Bailey. You're going to want to know this. All right, just a quick view of where the glue was when I was taking this battery pack apart. The front had a lot of front corners by the plug. And that sticker on the bottom of the battery, it stuck real good. It made me think I didn't have all the glue busted. Done a number getting that off here. If I do it again, I would take the glue, a glue dissolver or a Dremel and just cut out where that glue is and make it easy to pop apart. Other than that sticker, you get all the glue dremeled out, it should just fall apart. And knowing where the glue is, you know where not to hit the battery. There's a lot. That mangled that real good. A lot of glue there, that corner and that corner. And mostly here and there. All right, now there's two screws up by the main port, the main battery plug. Get these two screws out. And there's actually two underneath the battery. I found out the hard way. We got one of them out, thought I had them all out. Had to reach back underneath the battery, as you'll see here. Pull some foam back and expose the last screw. There it is. Get that out, and it all falls out. Easy peasy. Alright, we're moving on. Got the tape on the front here. This tape will expose where the battery balance port is soldered to a board. It's soldered to the three cells. Let's remove that tape and here we go. This is where I... This is where the short is. When I touch the plug with the steel pair of pinchers. I shorted out two prongs, the two wires at each end. Don't ever use steel tweezers pulling these plugs. It really messed up this board. Two fried wires, PCB wires, and a little tiny copper wire inlays that go to each cell here. Fried that one and one in the back. Cell one, negative, and cell three, positive. Right in there. And jumper wires didn't fix it. It actually fired, it fried an IC chip on here somewhere and I'm not even about to chase that down. Well, under further research, I might, have, I might not have fried this smart board for this battery. I'm finding on forums where people's able to get into programming and resetting and yeah. A little late now. I'll post links on the some devices people are using if you want to get into it it's not cheap if 
you can get a battery for 60 bucks, I don't see spending the money and time and buying the equipment and learning the software. On that note, the guys that show how to do it are getting a lot of heat for not getting into the coding and everything, but I understand where they're coming from. It's time and money and if a battery's cheap, why waste time and money? Just saying. Get a new battery. Not a total loss. We're gonna turn this into a flight back. I like um, let, me, let me talk a flight pack. Or like a park flyer or something. It can't use it on the DJI no more, but it's still usable. Cells are great. There's no swelling in this pack. And let's see if we get the side view here. These batteries are in great shape. I think it averages out for a 14 watt hour battery at 3.8. It's about 3,800 milliamp hour, about 1,200 milliamp hour after it said none. It's not completely a loss. What we'll be doing is upgrading, taking all my jumper pins off here, removing that, doing away this whole plug. That plug will no longer be used. I'm gonna upgrade it to the JSXH3 cell light. This is just standard plug that fits your standard LiPo battery tester. This is the original here. Way, way smaller. A lot bigger. Anyway, we're just going to solder it on there and the way it goes. Got a link in the description for the original size plug. Even comes with the female. But there they are, side by side comparison. That one over. They don't come like this black on the left, red on the right, out of the package. They come like this. So you gotta pull them apart if you wanna make it the same kind of color code as the DJI. Your black is on the left and your red's on the right. Not really a big deal, but I like to kind of get it close to the color as I can. Factory modified. Show you it fits right. I, I cut these different links here. Just so they don't want to ever touch. These are really good cells. Don't want to mess that up. Plugs right in. Here you go. The finished product. The balancing board. Gone. Just soldered right to the pad board now be the balancing which fits most chargers most lipo chargers have this JST XH plug this is the bulk tester here plug it in some charging anyway hey have you liked and subscribed yet I'm about to show you how to wire a balancing plug to this battery pack come on now give me a big thumbs up subscribe why not B1 there B1 positive is right there B2 negative here, B2 positive here, B3 negative here, B3 positive here. Pretty simple.
Need some heat shrink. She'll be ready to take on a airplane sometime. Well, now time for my favorite part of the video. The verse of the day. James 1.12 Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. God bless everybody. Hope you have a great day. Love you.